first tonight at six, we have learned the names of two suspects shot and killed by Ohio State troopers near Vandalia. It happened at the end of the incident that you see right behind us. This chase started early Wednesday morning in London and ended on Airport Access Road in Vandalia. The Montgomery County Coroner identifying those two people as 54-year-old Rodney Hellman and 51-year-old Elaine Hellman. Authorities say the Hellmans took off during a traffic stop in London and later hijacked a semi with the driver inside. Several law enforcement agencies then chased the semi on I-70 before using stop sticks, forcing it to stop. OSP's special response team tried to give the Hellmans a chance to give up peacefully. When troopers approached the truck to get the driver out, authorities say the Hellmans started shooting. Troopers then shot back, hitting both suspects, both taken to a hospital where they died. The driver of that truck was also taken to a hospital with minor injuries. We're working to learn his condition. Well, after that incident, relatives are surprised by the Hellmans being involved in a hijacking and chase. A first cousin of Rodney Hellman talked with us and hoped the couple could have received more help when life fortunes turned. New at 6, 2 News reporter Seth Bird talked with Regina Crosley about her reaction to the incident. Regina Crosley's first words to me was shock. Shock that her cousin Rodney Hellman and his wife Elaine could be involved in something like this. She says everything turned for the pair when Rodney became sick a couple of years back. From then on, according to Crosley, they were struggling to get by and had a couple of stints in jail. She believes the Hellmans were not trying to hurt the semi driver. I know in my heart that they were not trying to hurt him. I know that they probably protected him from really getting harm. You know what I mean? It's just unfortunate they happened to be in the vehicle that they got into. I, I, it's not, it wasn't intentional to kidnap somebody or take anybody hostage. I, I know that for a fact that's not who they are. Absolutely not who they are. We'll hear more from Crosley later tonight on Dayton CW at 10 and here on WDTN at 11. In studio, Seth Bird, 2 News.